Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatiwi 101. And welcome back to the Road to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So today we're going to Magic Ant, which is from the Earthbound series. I believe Magic Ant's actually from Mother 1, not Earthbound. However, I know that this specific version of Magic Ant, like in Smash, takes some elements from the Earthbound incarnation of it. Cool. And with always, we have today's question of the day, and that is, besides Cloud, of course, what characters were you most surprised to see get into Smash? Today we have a free-for-all between Omnom, Sexy, 20XX, and Monado Boy, and uh, Shulk was probably the most surprising character for me again to Smash. I'm one of the weirdos who knew who he was before Smash. Mm -hmm. I was part of Operation Rainfall, I wanted to see Shulk get in. That's cool. But uh, I was not expecting it, because I thought oh, he's a pretty much an unknown character. No, he got in Smash, that was awesome. Uh, who would yours be? Um, I, I was pretty surprised to see that We Fit Trainer was in Smash. <laughs> I love that, though. Yeah. So, uh, this stage, see that yellow flying pixel man? He is the reason why I hate this stage. <laughs> he's called the Flying Man. Um, he's from Earthbound. He would help you fight. So he spawns from that little castle tower thing over on the right, and the first person who touches him gets him as an ally. He'll then fight them as another character on stage. Oh boy, do I hate him. He gets in the way so hardcore. One thing that's interesting is when he dies, a tombstone appears there, like in Earthbound, and <laughs> once you've gone through five of them, no more will spawn, just like in Earthbound. Oh my god. So, if you, so there's a tombstone, and uh, if... If we go through four more, I don't think we will, but if we do, no more will show up. That's kind of a nice touch. I like that. Yeah. But uh, I hate that he's on the stage. I hate him so much, so I'm always really happy when he dies. Monado boy just self-destructed from the bumper. Even though uh, we had the jump part on. Oh, come on. He goes from winning some matches coming dead last in others. He's having an off match. <laughs> I don't blame him. I mean, the stage. So Sexy who's going to touch it? Uh, 20XX got it. Oh, okay. Now the flying man's going to fight alongside him. I just think he's so annoying and in the way. He is annoying. He just like, he just jumps around. Yeah, you can KO him, but it's like, I don't want to do a two on one all of a sudden. Smash ball. He just gets in the way. I just don't like him very much. There's this cool uh, picture that was going around online that showed like the, uh, the rip in the sky back there. Ooh. <gasps> How do you miss oh. that? <laughs> he went over him, I think. Oh shit, that can kill you. He canceled it though, he nice. realized. Oh, okay. Show the uh, rep in the sky with Rolf from Ed and Eddie. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Sexy died. Like pulling an open saying, Life has many doors, Ed boy. <laughs> which is a reference to one specific episode. I forget which one, though. Yeah. <laughs> I, it's been, I need to watch that show again. That show is really good. Yeah, I, I, need, I need to watch like that show straight through. <laughs> I like we watch children's shows. <laughs> well, they're usually better than most adult shows nowadays. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I hate everything, so. Oh, thank God the other five man's gone. Good. So three of them are down. There's only two left, but I don't think I don't think we're gonna see all five. Look at all those satisfying tombstones. <laughs> you hate them that much. Yeah, I hate them because I never get them. <laughs> when uh, Emma is playing Earthbound, oh, he's dead. <sighs> she said she used one flying man. Then when he died, he, she saw the tombstone. She freaked out and never took another one. Oh my god, because she didn't want it to like, ever die again. Yeah, she's like, oh my god, I killed him. <laughs> That's game. See how stupid man. the flying man is. Yeah, he just killed Omnom. I can't wait to play that stage with the hazards turned off. Yeah, because that would be a fun stage, I feel like. If it wasn't for him, I like the layout a lot, and it's really pretty to look at. Well, with that, that would be bring this episode of The Road to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate to a close. Please be sure about this video's poll or let us know what you think of the stage. And as always, thank you for watching. This has been Fabulous Fish. And Katatiri 101. And we hope to see you in the next episode. Bye bye